Alright everybody, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while, but I am back. So, you might have come across or heard about a feature called QuickShare on your Samsung Galaxy smartphone. And you will see the QuickShare option whenever you press the share button, like when you press it in the gallery. So there it is. And this feature is awesome because it allows you to share photos, videos, or pretty much any files between two or more Samsung smartphones or a tablet. And you can do this without the need of an internet connection. And trust me, this makes sharing large files super easy. So all you have to do is select the stuff that you want to send, tap on the share button, and select quick share. And if quick share is enabled on the other phone, you should see the icon over here. So just tap and the file transfer will begin. And because the file transfer happens locally, the speed is pretty fast. So there you go. All of the files that we have transferred are over here. So yeah, QuickShare makes sending and receiving stuff between two Samsung Galaxy devices super easy. Now here's the fun part. Recently, Samsung has updated the QuickShare app and now it also works with Windows PCs. So check this out. Now you can share stuff from your Samsung Galaxy completely wirelessly with any Windows PC through QuickShare. And as you can see, it works quite well. And yes, it also works the other way around so you can also send stuff from your PC to your Samsung smartphone. So let me show you how you can set this feature up on your Windows PC. Alright, so the first thing you gotta do is download and install the QuickShare app from the Microsoft Store. So here it is. As you can see, I have already installed it on my PC. Now, there is one essential requirement that your PC must meet in order for QuickShare to work. That is, your PC must have an Intel wireless card with the latest drivers. If you don't have an Intel wireless card, well, then QuickShare is not gonna work. You are gonna get an error which says QuickShare isn't compatible with this computer. And this particular laptop isn't exactly old, so why doesn't it work? Well, that is because this laptop has a Realtek wireless card instead of Intel. And if you feel like, you can always upgrade the wireless card to Intel. And these are fairly cheap and easy to upgrade. And you can check the brand of your wireless card by right-clicking on the Start menu, then Device Manager, then Expand Network Adapters, and here you can check which brand wireless card you've got. And obviously you must be running Windows 10 or Windows 11. And once your PC satisfies all the requirements, go ahead and launch QuickShare. Okay, so this is the QuickShare window. And the first thing I would recommend is going into the settings and changing the location of the download folder to whatever you like. By default, whatever stuff you send over from your phone, it's gonna save everything inside the QuickShare folder which you can find in your downloads folder on your PC. And lastly, you can also sign in with your Samsung account which I recommend, but it's not essential. The QuickShare app is gonna work fine even if you don't sign in. So let's go back and also change this setting to anyone nearby or else you won't see your PC listed whenever you try to share files using QuickShare. Okay, so it looks like everything is now properly configured. And to send files from your phone to the PC, all you have to do is select the files that you want to send over. So once again, we are going to go to the gallery, select the files that we want to send and then tap on the share button. And if everything is in order, you will see your PC listed here. But if it's not, tap on the quick share icon. You should see it over here in a couple of seconds. So all you need to do is tap on it and the file transfer will begin. Now, if you aren't signed in with your Samsung account, you will have to manually accept the file transfer. But if you are signed in, everything is automatic. You don't have to do anything. And the speed is fairly good. It uses Wi-Fi Direct to transfer files. So it's not using your internet connection at all. And you can check the speed of file transfer by going into the task manager. And speaking of file transfer speed, I've noticed that it also depends on your phone. Newer phones like the Galaxy Z Flip 4 will transfer files at a much higher rate than the older ones. You can clearly see that the speed touches 700 megabits per second. And these kind of speeds will make transferring large files super easy. 
And that's it, it only took a couple of seconds and all of our files are inside the quickshare folder which is inside the downloads folder. And this transfers original files so there is no loss in quality. And obviously it also works the other way around so you can also send files from your PC onto your smartphone. Let me demonstrate how. So this window shows you which Samsung Galaxy devices are nearby. And as you can see, it is showing us a couple of devices. We're gonna send stuff to our Note 20 Ultra. So just click here and select whatever files you wanna send over to your smartphone. So let's send these over and there you go. And like I said, the speed is fairly good because the file transfers happen over your local network. And that's it, the file transfer is complete and all of our files that we have sent over from the PC are on the phone inside the QuickShare folder. And by the way, if you don't see your phone listed here, make sure that QuickShare is on and that your phone is discoverable. It is actually very easy to configure. All you need to do is go to the QuickShare settings on your phone. So go to the main settings, then tap on connected devices and QuickShare. Now here, make sure that this setting who can share with you is set to anyone nearby. And then you will be able to see your phone listed here. And this is not just limited to photos and videos. You can actually share any type of file between your phone and your PC. For example, if you want to share documents with your PC, then you will need to use the file manager. Again, the procedure is the same. Just locate the file that you want to send over to your PC using the file manager on the phone. Press the share button and send it over to the PC using QuickShare. So yeah, this is how you transfer files wirelessly between your Samsung Galaxy smartphone or your tablet using QuickShare on a Windows PC. So there you go, we have received the file on our PC. I actually prefer this over Samsung Flow or Link to Windows because there is no pairing process involved, nor you have to sign in into any accounts. It is the simplicity of this app that makes it better. I mean, all you need is two taps to transfer your file from your phone to your PC. Anyways guys, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to hit the thumbs up button because that helps out a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy watching videos like these. And I'm gonna see you next week. This is Tech Guy Charlie, signing off.